Spectrum, Spectrum of Thought. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Spectrum of Thought at Home Edition, specifically at EJ's home. Yeah, we're here today. Um, this is our first time actually doing this in person. This is totally different. I, I'm yeah. used, used to looking at a screen. Uh, Daniel looks way different on screen, and now his hair looks way fluffier in person. So this is pretty cool to check out. Yeah, I'm used to staring at EJ's face for an hour <laughs> while we talk. So now it's going to be interesting because I have to yeah. do this. Yeah, so we have to actually, and this is like completely different, different feel. So um, I'm not exactly sure what this episode is called. Do you know what we should call this episode? Uh, random questions. Random questions, yeah. About movies, mostly, yeah. I think, is what it's, it's going to be. But it should be fun. Yeah, and I, check it out. I think you guys will enjoy it. So, um, obviously, because these are pretty cool questions, in my opinion. So, basically, uh, I guess I'll start this off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Uh, who are your favorite actors and actresses that you could think of right now? Uh, my favorite actress is Scarlett Johansson. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so have you seen that movie with her um, where she plays the Japanese uh, character? Oh, I can't, you know, I can't remember it right now. Um, it's a really cool movie. Um, Ghost in a Shell? Ghost in a Shell, yes. Yes. Did you like that movie? Oh, hell yeah. It was fantastic, right? It was a great movie. I, and also, she looks amazing in that movie. Yeah. Holy and I told you this before, you should watch Lost in Translation. I did. I watched it. Did you like I it? I was with Bill Murray, right? Did you like it? Yeah, it was awesome. I think it's it such awesome. a, like a, I don't want to say, it, it's a lovely movie in my opinion. It's like it's a cool. feel-good movie. Yeah, and sure. even though he's an old, old, I don't know where I'm going with this, but he's older than her, right? Like probably twice yeah. her age, and they have this like connection between them. I feel like they should be together. Yeah. And that's what's so sweet about it, and they never do anything... Like they never go overboard. It just it's like they're just drawn. Yeah, there's a other. strong connection between them. But Those go ahead and continue. <laughs> uh, my favorite actor. I don't know if I have a favorite actor, but I have like some. Have you seen Django? Yeah. I don't know what the guy's name is. Jamie Foxx. No, the the guy with the the German accent. Accent. Is he a white guy? Yeah, he's guy? a white guy. Uh, German accent. I can't but, not remember. I'm gonna have to look it up. But uh, okay. uh, he's awesome, dude. He's in Django. He comes out in Glorious Bastards. Okay. Uh, Amazing actor, okay. amazing actor. But I'll have to look up his name. But while I'm looking it up, yeah, yeah, check you it give up. Your answer. Um, so obviously, favorite actresses. Um, I'm gonna have to just uh, throw it out there. Um, one of my favorite actresses, by Jessica. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, I like Dark Angel. For those who haven't seen it, this was a series that came out in 1999, um, and it was she was like a genetically engineered fighting machine she had feline dna in her it sounds ridiculous but it's actually pretty cool and she was just a badass they broke out of this jail or whatever and she actually like made the part really good i, I have a crush so that's probably why anyways uh favorite actors oh boy this is like a this is a tough one man um <laughs> i don't know if this is like my favorite actor but i really like uh jack black i think jack black is black. hilarious nacho libre is one of my favorite comedy films I think his accent, you and I are Spanish, and I think his accent is pretty dead on. I like how he talks, he even looks a little Spanish, and you're crazy. That, that's an accent I can't do. Really? Yeah, I can do some decent accents like Australian. If you've seen our episodes before, I can say might pretty good. Yeah. But no, uh, you can't do that one. I can't do like a, a Spanish accent or like a Norteño accent. Wow, it's so really interesting. I, I love when he says, so, Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's let me know what Encarnacion is all about. I love when he talks like that. It's just so funny to me. That movie makes me happy. Um, I can't think of any other actors, actresses. This is like I feel like I'm on the spot, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I, it's I, very hard. I have a couple actually. So Christopher Waltz is the guy's name. Okay, from, uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, let's see if I can open it and show you. Real yeah, quick. I'm not sure who that is. I'm trying to think of who he is. Oh, I know who he is. He came out on Alita Battle Angel. Yeah. He was yeah. the dad. He was the, the well, her, he, he was like a father figure to her. Right. And he was the doctor, basically. Right. Yeah, so yeah he, he's a really good actor. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, it's kind of funny because people with accents always come off as great actor, yeah. actors. Yeah. But, like, I think he's a, a really good actor. Another great actor, I think, is uh, Liam Neeson, dude. Oh, but wow. All of his characters kind of are the same. <laughs> but I, the first time I saw uh, Taken, yeah. I was just like, holy shit, this movie's just badass, dude. He's just getting his daughter back. Yeah. Um, Were you taken? I was taken back. <laughs> 
I, you know what? That was a fantastic. Did you like the second or third one? Honestly, uh, I didn't like the third one. Did you think it was too much after that? Yeah, I was like, dude. Okay. Start taking care of your daughter, man. Come yeah. On. No, it makes sense, man. <laughs> um, can you think of anybody else? Or do you want me to go next? Go for it. Um, I would say one that I like. We grew up with Leonardo DiCaprio. He's Dude. played so many. He seems so versatile, like in his roles, right? Yeah. I don't know if you ever seen What's Eating Gilbert Grape. He was a teenager in this one, and this had Johnny Depp in. Uh, Johnny Depp also starred in this movie, okay. and they had a mom that was really heavy, and she had to stay in the house all the time. And basically, Johnny Depp had like these three siblings, three or four siblings, and he was like the father figure for everybody. He had to take care of his mom, make sure everybody was okay. It was overwhelming for him. And Leonardo DiCaprio played like a mentally ill person hmm. so he had to watch over him and it was very difficult too and but he played that role like fantastic is my point like you would you would have thought like something was wrong with him and not that that's a bad thing but he did a good job on it so Leonardo DiCaprio I think he's just I don't know yeah I think a lot of people would agree with you and like it, it's funny because he's played so many great roles like I mean Titanic was, yeah. was this movie back back in the day but yeah you think uh, Wolf on Wall Street. You think uh, what's the one he just won an award for? Uh, he oh, finally the won Revenant. A, the Revenant. He finally won an award. The right? Revenant. And I don't think what was, was the like, Revenant? Ah man, is that the one where he gets attacked by a bear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that was pretty freaky. It's a cool movie. As gory as can be, man. I don't think that was his best movie. No. I think like the one, the Wolf on Wall Street was probably up there. I think he should have received an award for Wolf on Wall Street. Yeah. Why does he get snubbed? But he finally got one, dude. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I think that's cool. that's all he needs is one, right? Yeah. Well, that's um, actresses. I, I, there's so many fantastic actresses, um, and I just cannot. Can you think of any actresses that you like that are just like blow you away? Um, Meryl Streep. Yeah. Susan Sarandon. Oh, Susan Sarandon is a fantastic actress. I dude. used to have a huge crush on Susan Sarandon. Yeah, actually, I, yeah. This was like last week, or uh, used to <laughs> like uh, last month sometime. But no, she's she's gorgeous, man, and she's a great actress too. Yeah, yeah you're right. Um, damn, dude. You know who's a really good actress? Um, she's uh, yeah, you know I can't even think of the name. Um, damn, dude. This is this is a rough one. I'm gonna have to uh, simmer on that real quick. Oh. Angela Bassett. You know who she is? No. She's uh, she came out on. Um... Oh boy. You know I can't think of the movies, but she's a great actress too, and she looks exactly the same. She hmm. like to this day, she's already like 60 something, and she still looks the same. Wow. I'll have to um, look her up. Yeah, she's a good actress. But I'll have to come back to this. You too, if you think of anything. I can't think of anything right now. This All is right. difficult. I think Go you for it. Watch out with this. Oh yeah. Uh, next one. All right. What is your favorite movie genre? My favorite movie genre, wow. I would say it would have to, I, I like horror. I think horror is pretty good, man. Hmm. Lately, I've, I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, I saw this Korean movie um, the other day called uh, Train to Busan. And it was all subtitles and stuff, but basically it was about like a virus that got out and everybody turned into like zombies and they were stuck on a train and it just started spreading throughout all the, the whole train and everybody's trying to get the different cars train cars to be safe and spread throughout the whole entire city it was freaky super freaky they like they did a really good job uh, with like the special effects and producing it um, hmm. it was good man i like foreign films i don't mind subtitles do you like subtitles do you ever do that uh, not very often is no. it too hard for you yeah i can't i don't read as fast as the subtitles okay no i'm i'm, I'm good i don't watch very many movies with subtitles but, okay uh, i'm surprised like i have watched some yeah and in my mind i'm like there's no way i'm gonna be able to focus on the actual movie yeah but you can yeah you can. uh speaking of like zombies and viruses yeah during this pandemic <laughs> thanks for that but um, yeah like i've watched uh outbreak with oh dustin hoffman he's dustin, a great actor dustin hoffman's a fantastic actor <laughs> i like him outbreak yeah is amazing yeah. i love that movie yeah um and what's the other one contagion Ooh. jude law okay that one's kind of freaky because it uses terms that we, we're hearing today that like one social distancing uh Quarantine? Quarantine, right. isolation, 
it just hits you the wrong way when you watch it now. But after this pandemic, take a look. Yeah, it's a free. That one has more of the feel of now, I think. Yeah. And that's what's like. So I didn't want to watch it again. Like not recently, I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm already living it, experiencing it. This is cool. This is good enough for me. Well, what's your favorite genre at, think, at the moment? Uh, what do you think? You I like? go for comedy, dude. I just need yeah. more. I need happiness in my life. Yeah. So uh, I like to feel good and like. Okay. Laugh. I like to laugh. But I also I also like action. So like. Okay. Uh, John Wick one, two, and three. Oh, awesome movies. Freaking Keanu Reeves, dude. He is a badass. He's a really good actor, in my opinion. It's yeah. Be- he like resurrected himself. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he does that like in every movie. I don't know if he did in the Wick movies. <laughs> I don't know. That they're all don't talk so much, just kick ass. Just say whoa. <laughs> We're good with that. But uh you know who else is a good? Samuel L. Jackson. Oh. He's come out on like a hundred and some movies, dude. And I respect that. Oh, sorry, sorry. I respect that because I think it's cool. Even if the, like the movies suck or anything, it's like he. I think he figures I want to work. I just want to keep making money doing this, right? Like he's like, why? It's nothing's beneath me. I'm just gonna do it. And I think that's cool, man. Yeah, heck yeah, he's a good actor. And he's a good actor. So Pulp Fiction, I love that movie with him. It's mm-hmm. cool, man. Mm-hmm. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> I interrupted you, <laughs> but your genre is oh, you know what's good? Last Action Hero. Do you remember that? Oh, Arnold I Schwarzenegger. I love that movie, dude. The whole premise of it of the kid watching uh, the movie Going, in the theater, getting into the movie. Going into the yeah, movie. he gets the wait, the golden ticket, and then he like because he's like a part of the movie. That is like I even see it to this day, and my imagination runs wild. I'm like, oh. I can only imagine what movie I'd want to be in, right? And you're just like, oh, I'm in the movie, and it's cool. Like, you can't get hurt or anything, so just touching on yeah, that. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Yeah, I, uh, sorry, I talked a lot right there for that one. You're good. So, what we're doing it. So, watching movies, do you, like, is there any snack you prefer watching movies? Do you even snack while watching movies? Uh, yeah, actually, I buy uh, this sriracha popcorn. Oh, okay, so you're all up in that sriracha, right? Mm hmm. That's good, man. I feel like we need to be sponsored by a sriracha at some point. Or eat it. Yeah, or eat it, whatever. It's I don't all... know. If, are you the one that got me into sriracha? I got You it. did. I don't know. You did because when? we went to Konami. Okay. We went to Konami. This is where I first got into uh, sriracha. Konami. Is it local? I guess it's Yeah, local. Konami. Like, yeah, it's locally owned. Um, yeah. They have an amazing ramen, but you got to get two cups of sriracha. Or maybe get one and build yourself up to two cups. Two cup, like an actual cup. Oh, no, two little, two little <laughs> cups. Little, I was all, little bowls. You freaked me out. I was like, damn. Like they need to just but give you a whole you bottle. Pour that thing in there. Actually, they do. They do give me the bottle now, but which makes more sense. Yeah, because yeah, the bottle. yeah, yeah. But uh, ramen you got eggs, pork, uh, sriracha sauce. Yeah, amazing. Now I make my when I make ramen in the soup, I just pour sriracha. In. Yeah, that's. I think that's good, man. But uh, what was I going for there? Um, I don't know what we had. Oh, your favorite snack. <laughs> oh, yeah. So popcorn. Your favorite sna- his favorite snack is sriracha. Anything? Just straight from the bottle. Just, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't care. He'll just put it in water, I guess. I, yeah, I, I did. I've made like mixed drinks with sriracha. I made a you vodka know, tonic and I put sriracha in it. just mix it. Well, you could make your own margarita like that, right? Uh, I'm sorry, not a margarita, a Bloody Mary. Oh, you can ooh. actually make a Bloody Mary with that. That sounds delicious. Yeah, and you, you should try it, dude. Cause usually they do tomatoes and stuff, right? But you could probably, I don't know. I'll substitute everything. Just, just, it's it's going to be whatever. It, it's going to be sriracha sauce <laughs> and vodka. Yeah, there you go. And then just put like an olive at the top or whatever they fucking put. I don't know. And bacon. Yeah, bacon. There you go. Bacon bits. Like you could get the rim with bacon bits. Just dip it in bacon. Okay, that's just... That's you like know, a gourmet you know what else is good, drink, dude? dude. You know what else is good? What? Red Hot Blues. Oh, yeah. With uh, Creamland Fiesta. Dip. Oh, okay. And what is that? Like sour cream mm. or what? It's sour cream with green chili, jalapenos. Oh. And all is it hot? Not really. No. No. Oh, okay. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like sour cream. Sour cream is pretty good. Yeah. Um. And yeah, especially that sounds actually pretty good. Red hot blues are like uh, blue corn chips, right? Is that what they are? Um, they're like blue, blue corn, corn chips. chips. Yeah. But they're blue. I think they're blue corn chips. Yeah, I think they are blue. Yeah. But they're just spicier and they're more delicious. Oh, they're they're like the blue corn chip to get. And it's like the Lamborghini of blue corn chips in my opinion. Yeah, and also the best way to eat them is warm. Yeah, for sure. So if you heat them up a little bit in the oven. Mm. You know what? I've never done that and I don't know why I said for sure. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the, the way I found this out, we used to work at Wild Oats. And, yeah. Um, I bought some Red Hot Blues and I left them in my car and I tasted them hot. Like... 
the sun was beating on them. Yeah. And I took a bite. Oh my gosh. This Fantastic. Is so now I just heat them up in the oven. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's you know what? I'm, I'm going to have to do that, man. I'm going to have to do that. What, um, what snacks do you eat? I don't even know if I eat any snacks while I'm watching movies, to be honest. Why man. did you make this question? <laughs> Why did you write this question, dude? Um, so I, I guess, you know what? If I had to choose maybe like an ice cream sandwich or something. Like I like sweet stuff. It just like gets me, I don't know if it gets me hyper, um, but like maybe like a good ice cream sandwich would be good and I'll be good throughout the whole movie. Dude. I don't know, I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> I think you wrote this question to see why my cheeks are getting chubby. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, if I'm eating- So what? What's the next question? What do you eat while you're, when you wake up? What do you eat for breakfast? <laughs> well, if I'm eating ice cream sandwiches, <laughs> luckily you don't see the bottom half of my body. So I think we're good. I think we're good, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, even when we were at the movie theater, speaking of, because we both worked at the movie theater when we were teenagers. The best job that I've had. Yeah, it was fun. Except for the McCurtain job. Yeah. Love that one. But. So this was interesting, right? I know you probably want to say something, but our aunt, Faith, was the assistant manager. Mm-hmm. And then our cousin, Danita, worked with us. And then my cousin, Daniel, right here, worked with me. And my cousin, EJ, worked with me. I did too, yes. And it was interesting. <laughs> it, uh, I don't know what my point was. It was just fun. I think that was like a fun. Oh, I got tired of popcorn. I hate the smell of po- ever since then. I hate the smell of popcorn. I don't like the way it tastes. It bugs me, dude. Really? I think cleaning the machine and everything, and then having to vacuum the popcorn yeah, from the carpet, I, and you could never pick it up. It I would can, just bounce all over the place. I can see where you're coming from, but I, I didn't have that. I can, I can eat popcorn stuff. Okay. But I remember working there, and I'd come home, and my clothes. I, I smell like popcorn. Yeah. Or like the butter, maybe, too? Remember that hot butter? It was like this big old bag of like... It looked like lard, right? Like solid. And you would put it in the machine, it'd warm up. Or there was also like the containers of oil. It wasn't even butter at one point, right? I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe that was something at some point. But, uh, no. I I did not get tired of popcorn. At at the time, yes. Okay. But I got over it. Okay. That's, I'm happy for you. I know you used to eat big hunks. I know you used to eat big hunks. No, I did not we, eat big hunks. We worked with our friend Monica Lucier, um, <laughs> and she used to tell us that uh, she used to call you shout, big hunks. Shout out to Monica. Monica no, Lucier. So, you know, shout out to Danita Quintana and Faith Vigil. And do you not know the story of big hunk? I actually don't even know. I know just know she'd call you Big Hunk, and I was so, like, this is so funny. So the reason <laughs> I was called Big Hunk was everybody had a name tag. Okay. And I did not. Oh, okay. So I had like the blank, I had a blank. Yeah, like a blank little name tag. Yeah. And I put a Big Hunk on that, and I walked around all day with that Big uh, Hunk. Where the was ca- I? The candy Big Hunk. So yeah. they were like, and Irene for Christmas bought me a Big Hunk t-shirt. Seriously? Yeah. Did you stop? No. That's funny, dude. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's how Big Hunk started. Wow. I was picturing this whole different story. If I'm wrong, Monica, you correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's how it started. Yeah. Well, that's pretty interesting. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I'm not, I guess I'm just not into snacks either, dude. I I love snacks, but like... Snack attacks. Yeah, it would, ice cream sandwich, donut, whatever. I'm good with that shit. Otherwise, nah. Yeah. So... Um, I right. think we're done with that one, though. Uh, yeah, you kind of went to another one. <laughs> you skipped down the line, so we're going to have to scratch that one off. Okay. But uh, I think it's your turn to ask. Yeah, so basically, um, so as far as like TV shows, like what, what was your favorite kind of like TV show? Like what, what, what interests you? Comedy, dude. Comedy I love, also? I love comedy. Okay. Um, I can watch, I think I've watched the series The Office. Okay. This is kind of embarrassing to admit, but I, I, I think I've watched it about five times the entire series. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a lot. Of, I don't have a lot of life, I guess. But but anyway, it's a good show though. It's and hilarious. there's, I feel like there's a lot you miss. Yeah. Maybe that sure. I miss. Well, you know what? The first time I watched it, I lost interest surprisingly when uh, Will Ferrell jumped, joined the cast. Ah, oh, this is when what's his name left? Yeah, when Steve Carell oh, left, I, I, I. I hated it. Will Ferrell disappointed me, and he's one of my favorite actors, uh, but he was so disappointing in that role, and I was like, oh my gosh. And if I would have continued, he was only in there for like three episodes. Yeah, I get, yeah, you're right. He, he wasn't there long. Um, it was weird having him there, Yeah, I think. Um, I think it's always a letdown when they replace a character with another one. Oh, yeah. I always feel like, 
And it's not fair to them, right? Like this always happens with in any situation I feel. When like someone essentially gets replaced, you're like, I don't like you. I don't like you, you're not the same. And it's like no one gives you a chance. I feel like right off the bat, no one gives you a chance. Yeah. But I don't know uh, that you do that, but. No, and with Will Ferrell, sorry to interrupt you. But no, with, it's quite With Will Ferrell, I had, I had hope. I was like, oh, this is the perfect replacement for, yeah. for Michael Scott. But then when he was, maybe it was just the character, not, maybe it wasn't Will Ferrell, maybe yeah. it was just his character, the way they built it. And I was like, oh, I don't like this guy. It's not funny. He's an asshole. Yeah. Uh, I don't like this. So I stopped watching it. So I missed, and that was pretty early, dude. Yeah. So I missed from that to the end. Okay. And then I restarted the, the whole series and I, wa- I powered through the Will Ferrell. I still hate those episodes. I powered through them and uh, <laughs> the rest of it is pretty funny. I don't like um, Andy's character either. Andy, uh, he is the dorky one, right? Yeah. He's like the dorky. He becomes the Manager. new. And maybe that's because he's the new Steve Carell. No, I think he's just he's just annoyed me. As his character just annoys the fuck out of me. Sorry. For you, you know what was annoying when he at first when they first when we first met him, like his character when uh, uh, Pam, what's his name? Jim. Jim. Pam, Jim went to the new office and he was acting, trying to act all cool. I felt like he was trying to act like Steve Carell's character, like Michael Scott. I felt like he was trying to act like that over there and it was annoying to me. Uh, and then it felt like when he came to the office, he finally like lightened up and he started being dorkier to me and I kind of like liked it more. Yeah, you start to like him, yeah. but then when he becomes manager again, and maybe it's just the character itself, he yeah. played it well and we are like, oh, this guy's not yeah. doing shit. I yeah. hate this guy. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that was a lot on, on The Office. Yeah. What's your favorite? So I, I would say like uh, what I think I really like is like maybe sci-fi stuff. Um, I'm really into Supernatural. I, I don't know if you've ever seen this show. Um, basically, it's about two brothers who hunt demons, ghosts, anything supernatural. They fight with angels. They fight uh, the devil. They fight. Uh, they go into purgatory which is in between. I mean, this is everything. Werewolves. It's cool. What's cool about the show is they don't try to use special cheesy effects. Like, they make every monster a human, in a way. So, like, let's say there's a demon. All they do is flip the eyes to black. And you're like, oh, wow, that's a demon. If it's, like, the devil, his eyes get red. Hmm. But it's simple. So it's more about the character playing that part. And it it actually works really well because you've seen all these cheesy-ass... Yeah, the, the special it's effects so, are just it, it, low grade and yeah, it drowns like the whole show. It makes it like crappy to me. So I, I like that. I'm really into that. I love that show. Uh, Sixteen seasons. Damn. It, it and this is the last season, so I'm watching it now on Netflix. So if anyone hasn't watched it, Daniel, I know he's afraid of ghosts and demons and <laughs> all these kinds of stuff. So I don't know if I should have said this before he has to drive home in the dark. So. But that's what I like. I thought, I thought I was staying here. Yeah, 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 that too. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, like True Blood and stuff like that. It's about vampires. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw that, but mm-hmm. it's a while back on HBO. So. Yeah. Stuff like that, but yeah. I think cool, man. Yeah. But I'm into whatever. Supernatural. I, I've heard of it. Yeah. But I've never got into it, I guess. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, that's so, where I'm at. So the next question is, what time are we at? We're like 23. Okay. We can cut that part up. But, um... Ooh, this is a good question. Got best movie soundtrack. Wow. Damn, man. You know what? I just saw a movie the other day, too, and I was like, this... You know what was cool? The Tron Legacy soundtrack. Yeah. And this da- had Daft Punk. Daft Punk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that was, the whole thing was just so funky and unique, and it lent itself to the movie so well, because it was like this virtual world, right? Yeah. Um, and I was just like blown away. I remember seeing that's it in the movie, movie theater. That's Did we see it in the movie theater together? You no, and me and I Justin? Think, I don't think so. I saw it with Justin. You saw it with Justin. I did. Yeah. Um, we saw it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Spectrum of Thought at Home Edition. And it was fantastic, dude. It's such a cool movie. Uh, the soundtrack adds to it so much. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That's what I could think of right now. But what would you, what soundtrack are you into? Oh, man, I have two. Um, Forrest Gump. Okay. I'm trying to think like, of... It's like... 70s? 70s? Yeah. yeah. Like war music, kind of? Like, right. Queen's Clearwater. I love that. Yeah. Uh, what other... Oh, dude. This one's not as big as like as far as getting like um, mainstream with uh, 70s music, but uh-huh. Requiem for a Dream. 
Yeah, that. Oh, well, you know what? That movie is just amazing. That movie's insane. That's an amazing. Martin Wayans. You know what? He's a fantastic actor <laughs> because he. <laughs> I like how you laugh, but he is right. No, yeah. He Think is. about that because he could be hilarious and ridiculous, and in that role, he's not funny at all. Like he takes on this whole different character. You know what I mean? You, and it adds like. A, I don't know. I just feel like he has so much to offer as an actor. Like I would love to see him in more serious stuff. You know who else is in that movie? Who? Jennifer Connelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was pretty good in that movie. Oh yeah. She was also in that. Do you remember that movie back in the day in the '80s? What was it called? Labyrinth. She was in that movie really? where they stole her little brother, and uh, Bowie, David Bowie, was in that movie singing, and they stole her little brother. He was like this crazy guy, and they're walking up the stairs sideways, yeah. upside down, and everything. It was like this weird. Labyrinth. Yeah. It's a labyrinth, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Well, but she's a good actress. I'm gonna have to check her out. I mean, check out that movie. Yeah, you gotta check. Yeah, like you have it. So <laughs> check out the movie at least. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I was just thinking of something now, man. Uh, off of Martin Wayans, but I couldn't. I can't remember now. But it, it's okay. But those are my two: Forrest Gump and Rec- Requiem for a Dream. Ooh, Ooh, amazing soundtrack. Drive. Have you ever seen the movie oh, Drive? Yes. And uh, what's his name? Brian Gosling. Yeah, oh my gosh, he is fantastic in that movie. For one, it's such a unique movie, and the soundtrack, the whole thing is so like, it's a little funky, but it's like mellow, and God. That whole movie is like, it's quiet. It's a quiet it's movie. A, yeah. There's not very much, there's not much uh, dialogue. dialogue, and it's just like quiet, but you're still like, oh my gosh, this is all happening. He's beating, the, he crushed his skull in the elevator? Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. But it's crazy, dude. Yeah. Drive, check it out. It's on Netflix. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, I love that soundtrack, dude. Uh, That's, I was trying to think, but, and there's obviously a lot of soundtracks, but it's hard to think on the spot sometimes. Uh, Is it my turn to ask? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, I don't know. Do you, have you ever watched any classic movies? Oh. Any classic movies? I don't know if this is a classic movie. Classic is considered 20 years. Maybe technically is. for cars anyway. A classic car, technically for insurance purposes, <laughs> considered twenty years. I think it's twenty years. Maybe well, 30. for for insurance purposes, <laughs> uh, I think a classic movie that I I love. I haven't seen it. I'm gonna watch this tonight, actually. Okay. A Bronx Tale. That came out in the nineties. So did you, did that pass. No, but that's fine. You should watch it, dude. This movie is the actor in it is fantastic. He's like an Italian guy. Yeah. Um, and then he's interested in this black woman and obviously with all the racial things going on each family doesn't like it and it's like they're just trying to like be together oh dude and she's like a very good actress too <laughs> very pretty <laughs> but he's a cool actor too well I've seen it but yeah. I want watch it yeah, I do, I, yeah I can want to watch that it's, tonight it's a great movie then like, I, yeah I've seen it it's very very good um, I used to watch classic movies for a while like America's <laughs> America's Got Talent. AMC, Gallant? like oh, yeah, the yeah, American AMC. movie classic channel. Yeah, I used yeah. to watch that a lot, and they used to have like a DVR for our satellite. And I used to just record all these movies from Elizabeth Taylor because I had a huge crush on her. She had like gorgeous blue green eyes, and she was a fantastic actress. I just remember watching so many movies. One I could think of was called The Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and this was with Paul Newman also. And basically, it's a, I can't remember. It's like this family that's all dysfunctional, a rich family, and she comes out on it too. But she was, a, a, she's an amazing actress, dude. And I've seen so many. She came out on Cleopatra, and she was basically like in Egypt, right? Like yeah. She played her, but it was like a fantastic. It's like a three-hour movie, I think. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I've seen like Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn. Oh. I really got into this stuff, dude. Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, she was a fantastic actress, man. Like I liked yes. her movies also. Um, and who else? Natalie Wood was another great actress um, that I liked back in the seventies. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop my camera. And uh, sorry. Do I stop this? No, continue this. Oh, but I need to stop it. Yeah. Go. But basically. Uh, yeah, Natalie Wood was a great actress. She came out on a lot of good movies also. It's it's very hard to think of certain things. Do I stop this? No, you're almost Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Spectrum of Thought at Home Edition. But yeah, I got into... Uh, I got it. <laughs> 
I got into classic movies. There's another one called An Affair to Remember. Um, I can't remember the actor and actress, but they uh, basically they met each other like on a ship, and they like fell in love. They had a they had like they already had like a, a wife. Oh. No, they had a wife and a husband, whatever. But they fell in love, and then they agreed to meet each other for New Year's. They agreed to meet if they were still in love. They're like, meet me over here on top of the the New York whatever Empire State Building, and if we, if we really love each other. So basically, he went up there to meet her. She didn't show up. He got disappointed. What had happened to her is she was on her way, and I think she got hit by a car, so she got like paralyzed or something. So it was it's pretty like heartbreaking. So uh, sorry, I, this was like my question. I guess the classic movies. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, I guess you're up, buddy. All right. Um, if an actor had to play you in a movie, who would it be and why? Wow, that's that's a pretty crazy one, buddy. I didn't, I didn't write it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's what's cool is you get to think about this. Yeah, so a little ahead. longer than I do. I'm gonna have to just pull something out. You know what I mean? I would have to say uh, Colin Farrell. Cause he has thick eyebrows like me. You know who Colin Farrell is? He came out on Saturday Night Live. No, no, no. The, Colin, not Will Farrell. Colin Farrell. <laughs> <laughs> he came out on SWAT. This movie called SWAT. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was the main actor. In, you remember that? And then he came out in like phone booth where he gets like shot. He's in, in the, the new. Um, what's the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he has to go to like Mars or something? Hmm. Uh, are you, oh yeah, you're talking about. Um, um, that movie. <laughs> I am. That's the one. Um, uh, what is it called, Daniel? I'm looking it up right now. Um, damn, that, you know what? That's a fantastic movie, yeah. too. I like the, I like the remake. I like um, that one, actually. Well, because Kate Beckinsale and, uh, um, Jessica, Jennifer, Biel. Jessica Biel comes out on that also. What is that movie? Total Recall. Total Recall. Yeah. So, yeah, that, you know who he is. I would say him because he has thick eyebrows. That's it. <laughs> Colin I, I agree, dude. I think that's a good match for you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and he's a good actor, too, honestly. Uh, I, I think know. he's pretty cool looking. Yeah. He's a good um, looking guy. Although he, I, he's, dude, he's I, Irish, dude. Is he really? Well, I think we're kind of Irish, too, right? But he's like super Irish. Oh. Okay. Like he's Irish. Uh, he was on. Uh, so I need to pick a Spanish guy. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You should probably do like <laughs> Jack Black or something. <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> okay, I guess yeah. I'll but, uh, Jack Black. He was on, Colin Farrell was on Jimmy Fallon. Uh-huh. And he was speaking his normal voice and it was Irish. So it's completely different then. And I was like, why is he, why is he pretending to make this voice? <laughs> and I looked him up and he's like from Ireland. And I was like, holy shit, that's him. I did. He's, that's his voice, dude. And he looks a little Spanish, right? Yeah, he looks, In a way. he looks, uh, he's dark, I don't know he's dark, yeah. blue, but he has, he looks like yeah. him. Thick eyebrows. Yeah, I'll take it. Hair. I'll take the thick eyebrows. It's all good for me, baby. Uh, who the hell who would? Who, I, 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 I'm all, I get all excited. I don't know. Go ahead. You need to calm it down. <laughs> I'm trying to. Because I know who you're gonna say. Who? Because you always you send me some stuff. You're like, oh, this guy looks like you. <laughs> There's I, a few people that I, I, I've received messages like, oh, this guy looks like you. This guy looks yeah. like you. This guy looks like you. Uh, Elijah Wood is one of them. Okay. Yeah, I would say Elijah Wood. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's why I started off with that yeah. one. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I guess. And you Elijah know what? Wood. Elijah Wood's a fantastic actor too. He is. He he's really is. Real, but he's like kind of like disappeared, right? Like, I guess this happens with some of them. I think it's hard to lo- maintain that longevity in a movie career. Or maybe they just want to. Yeah, maybe. Especially like after Lord of the Rings, dude. Like, yeah. He'd probably get so much attention. You're like, oh, God, I don't want to. Yeah, he probably didn't want, he didn't want anybody calling him Bilbo. Mistaking him for Bilbo, right? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, what was his name? I don't know. I didn't watch this. <laughs> you didn't watch the Lord of the Rings? I watched the first one. That's it. Okay. Damn, you, those are fantastic movies, dude. They are. Those are pretty cool. They're so long, though. They, they're really long. You have to dedicate like a whole week and not talk to anybody and <laughs> really get into that stuff. Just isolate yourself. Go get COVID. Get the coronavirus and just watch. Yeah, and just stay safe, obviously, while you're doing that. Just lock yourself in a room with the food and water and all that fun stuff. Toilet paper, obviously. Yeah. I would say Paul Walker. Really? I know he... Like he's not around, but like he had that green eyes like you too, blonde hair. 
Um, he would be Pete. like the taller version of you because you and I aren't that tall. So let's be realistic. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not that tall. <laughs> pretty short. But he would, he would be like the taller version of you. That's kind of cool. Paul Walker? You know, Colin Farrell is probably taller than me. What am I talking about? <laughs> He's definitely yeah, Tom Cruise is our size. <laughs> Tom Cruise will play me, dude. Hey, and then Kevin Hart. So <laughs> Kevin help Hart's me, our size Help too. me help you. Help me help you. Help exactly. me help you. And that's from what? Uh, Jerry Maguire. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good actor too. Yeah, he is. He's he actually really is. like made a resurgence after all this time with the Mission Impossible movies. Like he's done really good, man. Yeah. I like those movies too. Heck yeah, dude. They're really good. Oh, yeah. um, Oh, you know who can play you? You remind me of, um, who's the guy that plays Huck? You're all, you remind me of the girl that comes in this <laughs> movie? Yeah. Uh, Jessica Alba? She, she, yeah. No, um, who plays Hawkeye? Hawkeye. Who's Hawkeye? In the Avengers. Oh, that dude? Jeremy Renner? Yeah. Huh, that's dude. interesting. Jeremy yeah. Renner's pretty cool. He's actually a pretty good actor, too, huh? Jeremy Renner. He's come out and You know what? Movie. He's our size, too. I, I know all this shit. Shut the fuck up. I'm not kidding. I know all this shit. So every time I see an actor on TV, I do this. I t- whoever I'm watching a movie, and I'm like, I think that guy's my size. And they're all like, you're stupid. I'm like, no, for real. He looks like he's my size. So I look it up, and he, he, t- he maybe he's like 5'9". Maybe he's like 5'9". He's probably like 5'9". But uh, in case you look, I think he's really 5'7". Actually, he's like our love child. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, because he has your eyes. He's, <laughs> he has your eyes, dude. That's what's funny about it. He's our little child. That kind of makes sense, buddy. He's a pretty cool actor. Um, oh, you know that other dude? Uh, who, what was his name? Um, he <laughs> he came out on... Uh, I can't think of the movie now. Um, Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh. I would want Jake Gyllenhaal to play me. Yeah, he's a good he's looking a, guy. He's a cool... Yeah, You have to have somebody really good looking... Like a better version of ourselves, right? I feel like some of them are really... Yeah. Paul Walker is pretty badass, buddy. Who did I tell you? Who, who else? I told you Elijah Wood? You said Elijah Wood. And who else? I think there was someone else that looked like you, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, I can't remember right now. But I don't know if it was the next one. But I think the next one's for you. Um, it's my turn? I, I believe so. That's my guess. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, do you ever watch terrible movies just because? <laughs> I do. <laughs> really? Um, I really do. I've seen all these horrible movies with awful special effects, horrible acting, and I feel like I get sucked in. Like, I'll watch it for like 10 minutes. I'm all, you're kidding me. Like, the way they act, it like they overreact, and then like the special effects and the soundtrack, it's just awful. And then the audio sucks too and you're just like can this get any worse but you watch the whole thing i will watch the whole thing to see if it gets worse and it turns into a huge bomb and then after a while it turns out to be funny to me like it really turns out to be kind of funny because after a while you're like are they doing this shit on purpose like they're making it look ridiculous like this like do you remember those movies they would come up with on sci-fi i don't know if you remember like sharknado and all that stuff. sharknado is like a, a s- successful franchise and that's my point i don't get it i don't get it either i watched the first sharknado not i didn't even yeah. make it through the whole thing and my coworker was like dude check out sharknado 2 and i was like <laughs> no no no. And then what did they say? Well, check out Sharknado 3, 4, 5, check or 6. Out, check out Sharknado 14. <laughs> check out Sharknado. You're, you're going to love 14. Yeah, there's but so many. The, what's funny about Sharknado is like these A-list celebrities are yeah. in them. Yeah. And you're just like, why? Why? They, why? They make cameos too. Like think, they'll make a little appearance. Brian Reynolds on Deadpool 2 is like, which Sharknado are we on? Mm. I think he says that. That just lets you know how like much the culture embraced like <laughs> terrible stuff like that it, seriously you should sit back pick a random movie on Netflix and watch it it's just so it. funny to me sometimes dude. it's can't. so weird you can't do it no, I, I, can't I do it sometimes because I just I give it a chance and I'm like it's hilarious to me like old movies that I used to love from the 80s yeah can't I, do it I, I watch like 10 minutes in and I'm like the audio sucks the video quality sucks the acting isn't amazing yeah and I'm just like, ah. but you know what I did watch? What? And Jeremiah, my son Jeremiah and I watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and we both loved it. Okay, so here's what I wanted to tell you about that. You brought up something good. So remember, time out, say by the bell. You know where they got that from? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Really? Zach Morris, Mark Paul Glosser, the real actor, talked about it, and he said we borrowed that 
from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And I've been wanting to tell you that, but I forgot. So it's a fun little fact. They're all, we borrowed this from Ferris Bueller's Day Off because he did that on something. He was talking to the camera the way he did something. Yeah. And yeah, so I just thought you would know. Nice, cool. That's right. awesome. That's just like a, it's a fun fact. It's though. a fun factoid. Right yeah, there. for sure. So you obviously don't um, watch awful movies. You can't do it. You can't get past Sharknado 1. No, I can't. Because there's a lot more Sharknados coming. Yeah, so. yeah clearly. You've got to prepare yourself. <laughs> Sharknado pandemic. Exactly, man. So I guess um, let me ask you the next question. Let me see. Uh, so, okay, this is a cool one. I don't know. What movie do you wish they would make a sequel to? Ooh, man. Because there's just, you know. I didn't prepare myself for this one. Uh, wish they'd make a sequel to... It's a pretty hard one. It is. It, it's a very hard question, for sure. Hmm. Do you want me to go? Yeah, I'll give go you a ahead. second. Go ahead. So the one I could think of is I don't know if you've seen this. It's called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Yes. And this movie to me is like I think our humor is the same. Like a little uh, like we have like a what would you call our humor? Juvenile. Yeah, juvenile. But it's like you have to like think about it. Like the jokes. It's not just like obvious. Yeah, you, Your have face understand. you have to understand. Yeah, like either you get it and it's hilarious or you don't and you're all, this is stupid. So I think it's like a unique comedy and it's kind of like it incorporates like a video game with it and reality. It's so different. I it's love cool. that movie. I it's wish they cool. would have made a part two to that, dude. Maybe they are. I wish because it was so cool, man. Um, yeah, I, that's what I could think of. Yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah. a really good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. So next uh, question, could, you could you elaborate on that one <laughs> some more? Um, uh, the actor, he's good too. He's hilarious. Yeah. He has like a dry sense of humor. Um, and then he does, He has like a gay roommate and his roommate's just hilarious too. You know what? That guy could play you. <laughs> that's who you that's who <laughs> That guy who you could play it's you. Macaulay Culkin's brother. I don't know his name. Um... Siren Culkin or something. That's I can't what you're saying. Could be look, he look, like in that movie. He kind of looks like you. Dude. So it's like <laughs> it's like Macaulay Culkin's brother or Paul Walker. Those the mer- merge those two together. That's who plays me, it, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I can't think of a, of, of a movie. What about? A would you want to watch another? Have you seen Nacho Libre? Yeah. Would you watch a sequel to that? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Do you think it's too much or? No, I think it, it was good. Some movies are like, don't make a sequel because you're going to ruin it. Exactly. Um, and you probably of, didn't need one, huh? No. I think a lot of movies made a sequel where you're like, oh, you ruined this for me. A ton of movies. More, more than not. More than not, exactly. Yeah. But uh, I think, what is a sequel? Matrix. Matrix 3, dude, they need to make a Matrix 4. Yeah, they're doing it. They are. <laughs> they're doing it. Sweet. Good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. That was that was the easy one for you. It only took you 20 minutes. <laughs> but I think the next one is you, man. Um, and there's some in the back too, by the way. But yeah, dude, like movies, sequels. There's some. I I just wish they would have done, you know, like sooner. All right. So we used to we mentioned this before earlier. We used to work in a movie theater, and one of the perks of working in a movie theater is we get to pre-screen movies. So. Uh, my question to you is, do you remember screening movies at the movie theater? I do. And one of the movies I was anticipating was Fast and the Furious, the first one. This is 1999, dude. That was before I was. I'm sorry. It wasn't, it was like 2000, maybe it was 2001. I think, I think because it was 1999, actually. Let's look it up. But I think it was maybe 2001 because I worked at the movie theater because I screened it there. Oh my God, look at this guy again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look up Culkin, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna have to show Dude, people. He's like a mix of both of us, man. I swear. Yeah, he is. You know what? He's kind of our size too. They just give him uh, lifts and stuff. <laughs> I, I think that's what it is. I don't even know how to spell Macaulay Culkin, dude. This is like the just... weirdest names. Um, but yeah, dude. Like, what was I about to look up? Um, screening um, movies. When I was looking up uh, Fast and Furious. Yeah, basically something like that. 2001. His name is K- Kieran Culkin, I think. Oh, here he is, buddy. He kind of looks like you a little. What do you think? Tiny bit? Not really? It's probably a bad picture. Maybe that one? 
<laughs> you don't know. I don't um, know. I don't see it. Show it to the camera. Yeah, let me. I gotta pick a better picture, dude. Um, so basically, what was your question? Ask us. Oh, uh, do you remember screening movies? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to pick like a good. Well, you do it from here because the focus is over here. It's gonna be blurred. Is it? Okay. So basically, uh, Daniel. Let's see. Kind of, a little bit. Maybe. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe this one looks like you more when he was a kid. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's rocking your shades. He is. That's me right there. <laughs> Some okay, maybe not. Game. Anyways, okay, so yeah, Fast and the Furious. Did you figure out what year it came out? Huh? <laughs> I thought you were looking it up. Fast and the Furious, what year? 2001. Yeah, so I was right. So yeah, I, I was. I've always been into cars, like fixing up cars, and I was just anticipating this movie. I remember watching the trailer over and over and over again on my computer, and it was had Ja Rule on the soundtrack. Do it fast, do it furious, and he was just singing, and you're like, oh my gosh, and then all the. The flames are blowing out of the exhaust, you're like, and then Paul Walker's green eyes, Daniel was like, oh my gosh, his eyes are like mine. And I'm all, yeah, Daniel, they're like, exactly. Well, like mine are blue. <laughs> his and were maybe, blue too? Maybe Paul Walker, you just said green. <laughs> but okay, we're going to go with this. Uh, no, I remember that coming out too, I think. I saw it with Justin, actually. Really? And uh, we went to the theater before they closed in the... the uh, Veal in the mall. It was still Veal in the mall. At the okay, time. wow. And yeah, dude, we watched that, and uh, it was a pretty badass movie, man. It was cool, right? Yeah. It was more street racing than anything, right? A little bit more. Like now, it just seems like they're just action. Like they yeah. just want to like. Now it's just like explosions and whatever. Bigger explosions, flying off bridges, doing double backflips, landing in the water. Effects. Yeah, I mean. Whatever, they're still, billion dollar industry. I mean, it's so. a franchise that's been pretty strong, so good on them, I guess. Yeah. I remember watching Rush Hour 2 also. Really? Screening um, Rush really? Hour 2. Holy shit. Rush you, Hour 2. You worked there for much longer than I did. <laughs> I was there for 15 years, guys. <laughs> I retired from the movie theater. I retired from the movie theater. I'm good. Um, um, yeah, I, I screened quite a bit of movies. I screened like three movies, I think. Yeah. And I fell asleep every single time because when you're pre-screening them it's like midnight yeah it is and, and we uh, would watch it like three days before it premiered or, or the night before the night before I think the night before yeah the, night, the times I did it yeah but I would be I think the movies I pre-screened were Star Wars movies yeah and I remember just being like alright I was pumped I'd walk in I'd get my bowl we had to bring our own uh, like bowls for popcorn so I had my bowl of popcorn and it was like this big <laughs> It was huge. It was massive or what? And I would just sit in there and I passed out. <laughs> oh my gosh, buddy. But the movie finished at 2.30 like, hey, wake yeah. up. Oh, was it good? <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> I also saw uh, Star Wars Episode 2. And that had Natalie Portman in that too. Oh, I remember watching yeah, that. I think that's the one I was referring to. Yeah, that was long. It was so long. That's why I watching, fell asleep. Especially watching that late. Did you ever like get any movie posters from... The movie theater, or did no. you ever have any movie posters growing up as a kid that you just? I didn't. I wish I could get some of them, like The Matrix. Yeah, that was my fa my favorite movie growing up, dude. Yeah, and I wish I would have a movie poster, but no, I didn't. Did you? Uh, I actually got the Fast and the Furious one from the movie theater. They gave it to me, Sweet. and I had it on my wall for a while. It was pretty cool, man. And it had like a Supra on it, and all. I was in, always in the Supra, so I was like, oh, this is like the coolest thing ever, dude. Um, and then I had a Jessica Alba cutout from Fantastic Four. Yeah. She was like my height. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I remember that. We used to do, uh, or we did this once where when I was living in Virginia and uh, you were here. Yeah. We did this like kung fu fight over pictures. Yeah. What, was it through AIM? Uh, yeah. I think it was instant messaging. Yeah. AOL, AOL instant, AOL instant messenger. messenger. We would, I would jump. And I had, I, I don't know where I got drumsticks from, but I had some drumsticks and I'd be like, do go chop! Doing like crazy it. moves, right? Yeah, and I said, and we had the green screen behind us and we would blank it out and put a, a cool background behind it. And then you would send, but the thing that reminded me of that was Jessica Elba. One of your poses was you were behind Jessica Elba's cutout. Yeah. And you're like this. <laughs> Doing something cool. Yeah. I, she's protecting me, buddy. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, uh, that's how it went. That was funny. Man. That was fun. That's going to be in one of our future posts. I think that's an idea we're throwing around is doing like this kung fu fight. Yeah. 
we'll see. I think it'll be pretty cool. Especially, I think it'll be really cool. Actually. Um, next one, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, what movie can you watch over and over? Wow, that's a great question, man. You know which one I like a lot? Um, I don't know if you've ever seen it. This is uh, 500 Days of Summer. And this is with jo Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He can play you. And he's actually a pretty good actor, buddy. You don't like him, you're like... Pfft. I'm gonna have to look him up. Man. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and then Zoe Deschanel comes out in that. It's called Ooh, Five... Zoe. Zoe yeah, it's called 500 Days of Summer. So basically, her name is Summer, and this is him oh, dealing with a relationship with her uh, 500... Like, it's basically breaking down all the 500 days, and it goes back and forth whatever day, and just showing all the problems he had. And they were They just weren't right for each other. It's like not a love story because they don't end up together, so it's really cool. It, like, it's a good way of telling this uh, story about, you know, because he really wanted her and she just didn't want him, they weren't right for each other, and then he ends up finding somebody that's great for him. And her name's Autumn at the end. It's interesting. It's a good movie, you should see it, man. It's not really, it even tells you at the beginning, this is not really a love story, and it's pretty cool. I like the way it's, that's a cool soundtrack too. <laughs> so check that out, man, 500 Days of Summer. I could probably watch that. You know what? Uh, and Lost in Translation, sorry. <laughs> I like that one too, Bill Murray and your girl. Uh, What's her name? <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. That, I, that's a cool movie. What was I about to say? Um, I interrupted you. It's all good. <laughs> sorry. Just trying to think. You know what? I was thinking of Joseph Gordon Levitt. Love it? Love it? <laughs> you were thinking of him? Well, Before I imagined movie, this? Looper. <laughs> Looper. He could play you. With he's him. a cool guy. Inception, dude. Oh, he's good in Inception, dude. Inception, Leonardo DiCaprio, and <laughs> jo Joseph Gordon-Levitt. <laughs> Amazing movie. That's one of my favorites for sure. I don't know why. Could you watch that over and over? I know you'd watch The Matrix. I think over I've over. watched Inception at least ten times. Really? Yeah. Wow, dude. But um, I was thinking of Looper, uh -huh. or also what's John Malkavoy? He's a great actor. Who is that? Oh, I know who he is. He played. He's played. Uh, he's the dude on X Men. He played what's yeah. his name, and then he's come out on like all these other creepy movies, right? Um, did you see that one where he has like twenty six personalities or something yeah, like that? What was that called? Um, some, Mac McAvoy. McAvoy. Yeah, but that one, that movie was crazy, dude. He comes out in Glass, which is like the sequel to. And it's the Broken. same character. Yeah, but yeah. it's the same character he plays in the other one, which yeah. was called. Oh, it's right here. Oh, what was it called? It was called. Um, damn, I can't think of that movie. But damn, it was such a good movie, dude. So, what would you watch then? Um, I think I can watch over and over. Nacho Libre, I could do too. You know what? I can watch. It's kind of embarrassing, but like Avengers, Infinity War, and. End game. I have to watch them together, but I can watch those over and over, dude. Because there's just so many. There's so many characters, and they have to tie them all together, and they have to incorporate everybody to make this whole story work. And it's freaking awesome, dude. I kind of feel sorry for Th Thanos in a way, because he seems like he cares. You know what I mean? Like it seems. Do you feel that way? Like it seems like he kind of cares. Like he wants. He, I, I think because he's trying to get rid of all the bullshit, right? Like people and start over, kind of. Like, isn't that what he was saying? Like, he's saying get rid of all these people because they're making the world or the universe oh, a I guess, bad place, right? A bad place, and, and that's killing half of them. Yeah, and I, I don't condone that, but he's like trying to better something, but in a horrific way, obviously. Yeah, like Hitler. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Spectrum of Thought. At home edition. Oh, holy shit, yeah, then never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but but he seems like he has, like, feelings, though. They, they, like, they were talking about, like, how they should have done a standalone film with him. Because they could have developed his character, like, a lot. And then we would have, like, felt sorry for him or something. Like that. Yeah, that's a good, that would have been a good idea, man. But that would have been... No, I agree with you. There was definitely some, like, heat he wanted. It wasn't him being like, oh, you guys need to die for no reason. Yeah. He thinks, like... Having the population be cut in half is gonna make the universe better. Yeah. And he did it. And it was a sacrifice for everybody except for him. Yeah. Um, well, but, he sacrificed his daughter, technically, right? 
in a way. Yeah, I guess so. And he seemed pretty sad. Remember he cried about that? He like cried. Didn't he cry? Yeah, he had a tear. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, one tear. <laughs> one tear is not much for a death. I mean, I guess. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe it was two. Yeah. I don't know. Well, something like that. Watch it, I guess. But yeah, dude. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other movies I would love to watch, but I'm surprised you haven't seen those, dude. You know what? It's a good movie. Um, Serendipity. That I've only seen that once, and that's with Kate Beckinsale. Who's that with? Mm. I think she's in that. John. Right? Hmm. He's the guy that comes out and gross point blank, right? That's the guy. Let's pause this real quick. Pause. No, you're not. No, no, no. His name is uh. Cusack. Yeah, Cusack. John Cusack. And who's the girl? Is it Kate Beckinsale? Yep. Kate yeah. Beckinsale. Okay. I remember that part. Yeah, those are cool movies, man. Um, I don't know. Into the Blue is pretty cool, too. It's with Jessica Alba and Paul Walker. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, dude, it's a cool movie. You're going to be like, wow. Lucy. Did you like Lucy? Uh, yeah, that was so creepy, huh? Yeah, is was that cool. where... She, was that... No, wait. What was Lucy? Scarlet Johansson. But what was that one about? She, like, controlled things. Like, she started using, like, more of her brain, right? Yeah. A higher percentage of her brain. Like, more, more, more. And she yeah. just became, like, unstoppable, right? Right. Oh, Something that like was that. a cool movie. I thought it was too short. I thought it ended... It was, It needed to... I felt like it had to go... It felt like it hap- everything happened so fast. Like, from when it happened to her and then to the end. Yeah. It was too fast. Like, I feel like we could have... Stretched it out a little more and told a little more. So. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Lucy was good. Under the Skin. Jo- Scarlett Johansson also. Did you see that one? Oh, I don't want to give it away. Watch that movie. It's creepy. It's called Under the Skin. Check it I out. Get, I don't know. I like it already. <laughs> so it's Scarlett Johansson? I, yeah. I don't know where you're going to find it, but maybe you could rent it somewhere. But well, it, it's a I have this cool awesome app movie. called Flickstore. It's not an app. It's a yeah. website. Yeah. And I can try to find it. But it's a cool movie, man. Did we finish all our questions? I already? think we did, and we're at... We're almost at an hour, as usual. 50-some minutes. Oh, so, okay. so, so I have a quick question. Like, We have our horns in our car, right? Do you use? Do you actually utilize that horn ever? Like, Do you actually use it? When I'm in a bad mood, and somebody is not following traffic uh, directions or rules, yeah, I'll, I'll honk it. Yeah. Do you get like crazy honks? Like, bang, 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 bang. I'll just go, like if somebody, let's say I work downtown, so there's some places where you cannot make a left turn at a, at a stoplight. Yeah. And they're, they put their signal on. Once I see that signal on, I don't even wait for the light to yeah. turn green. If it's red and they throw that signal on, I'm like, I lay on. I don't go, bah, 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 I go, bah. Oh, you actually do it. Okay. Wow. And I go, dude, no, that's a straight. You cannot turn left here. Do not screw up my day. Right? No, it makes sense. I don't think but, I use my horn. But, uh, do you flip the finger? I don't think I do. And I get no, pretty I mad. Flip, I don't flip the finger. I mean, usually, the horn yeah. is like when I'm in a, in a bad mood. But, uh, yeah, the finger I, I do for friends, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's EJ in front of me. Hey, EJ! And I'll I, honk my horn at you. Yeah, I don't think I have. <laughs> Uh, um, I think I have a few times I've just been, like been really pissed but I think I try to avoid like road, road rage I guess because I think some people are just crazy dude. Yeah. and I'm, I feel like it's a waste of my time like these are just tiny little moments in our day or in our life and I'm like why make it worse you know what I mean so I, so I, I try to train myself not to react at all because I'm just like just let that shit go dude like there's no point in being mad about this like, some people just don't know how to drive Plain and simple, right? Yeah. Or they're just stupid. <laughs> yeah. There's that shit too. But uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, man. Do you have anything else to add to our episode? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Spectrum of Thought at Home Edition. Uh, no, I don't have anything else to add. I think this is a pretty fun episode. Dude. Yeah, in person too, man. This, yeah. This is a whole new dynamic. Completely different. Next time we'll be at uh, Fresk Residence, probably. Maybe. They get crazy. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Thank you for joining us. Um, all the stuff somewhere on the screen to follow us, and follow us, like, subscribe, um, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Thank you guys. Um, Donatello Berry Cloth out. Carson C. Carson. Good night. <laughs>